Here we go. Right here, uh, today we're standing in front of Paul Robeson High School here in Brooklyn. And there's some resistance here on what's going on here at the school. And there's a gentleman here. Can you tell us your name? Kareem. Brother Kareem is going to tell us how he feels about what's going on here in this community at Paul Robeson High School for Business and Technology. Kareem, could you tell us a little about what's going on here with the demonstrators? And well, today we um, we have a few students and faculty here to uh, help out in keeping our school open. You know, we're interested in keeping it open for many reasons, but um, one of the main things is uh, you know we have a a student body here and um, a faculty who you know we love each other, we we help each other out. The um, factually, the grades are up. You know more than they were at one point, so we're trying to figure out. You know what's the actual reason? You know uh, higher ups want to close us down. So some some people would say that uh, some students uh, have said that they feel that their school has been set up to fail. I, I I've heard that, and I almost agree. When you think about um, students that are sent here who have had problems in the past with uh, academics. With uh, with the law, you know, and it's inevitable. If you send a bunch of those same kind of students to one area, I mean, it's possibly possible to, for them to be helped. But what seems to be inevitable is that that school is going to be looked at as a failing school. But on a, another note, some of these students that come in are actually very intelligent. So when we get a grasp of them, some of them that I've even visually said and prejudged reluctantly but I did and said wow this student might you know I wonder what's going to happen I've seen them elevate you know to heights mm. even beyond that anyone thought so you know when we deal with the facts mm. we, we can tell that this is one of the schools out of many that should remain you know? okay thank you You're very welcome is there anything else you want to say to the young people who might be viewing this on YouTube about fighting back and demonstrating and holding rallies and doing anything they can to help Paul Robeson. How would they, would you suggest, how would they do it? Would they reach out, come to the school, call the school, call the mayor's office, call? What would you suggest that young people watching this should do if this is happening at their school? Well, first, I would want them to understand that even though this is here, it affects us in general. Because this is um, one of many attempts to kind of keep us down. I mean, I have to say it that way because... And it seems that the higher up's main objective is monetary. And um, I, I would say that, you know, uh, life, education, necessity, those things supersede the monetary needs of others. You know, and it just seems to be happening across. So to the young people, I would say read more, get involved, understand what's happening globally and in other cultures. And maybe we can get some insight on what's happening on our own front, you know, and be able to assist. And once again, I just like to say peace and love to G2 Ayusi. He's been very influential in my life from a young boy. So peace and love, and I'm, I'm part of the struggle. How could anyone watching you this might find you on Facebook or some of the social networks or email address? How will a student uh, want to contact you and just network with you? Well, I can be contact. Well, in terms of email, I have a Gmail account, which uh, you can reach me at K for May, which is K F as in Frank O R M as in Mary E Y at gmail.com. I usually respond promptly. You know, okay. I'm running around trying to save the universe we as see well. That. <laughs> Thank you for your time. You're welcome, Appreciate my brother. Anytime. Okay.